As we start looking for the solutions to differential equations, we're going to start by getting a graphical representation of what these solutions look like. Our question is going to be, how do we graph solutions to differential equations? The answer to this question is we're going to make what's called a slope field. The idea here is when we graph a function normally, it's only got one x and y value that satisfy the equation. So we end up with a nice curve. The problem with differential equations is we have different options for x and y. So instead, we're going to use the fact that if y prime is equal to f of xy, then that function f of xy is the slope of the line at every point x comma y. In other words, we can calculate the slope of a line at any given point on a line. So if I have a function y prime which is equal to x minus y, what we can do is we can make a chart of potential slopes for this function. We're going to calculate x's and y's. So I'll have rows for x's. Let's make x equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And y's are going to go down the columns here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to be subtracting these values. When x is negative 2 and y is negative 2, negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0. Negative 2 minus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. These values that we're calculating are what the slope is at that given point. So if we start to graph what this is going to look like, we're only going out to 3 because that's all we did in our table. We said x was equal to negative 2. So when x is negative 2, that's on this vertical line at x equals negative 2. When y was negative 2, the slope was 0. And so we've got a horizontal slope of 0 at negative 2, negative 2. When x is negative 2 and y is negative 1, we're going to have a negative 1 slope, which is going to be a downhill 90 degree slope. When y is 0, the slope is negative 2, which is even steeper, but still negative. At 1, it's going to be negative 3, which is a very steep negative slope. And at 2, it's almost vertical in that it's got a slope of 4. And so we've got different slopes as we go up when x is equal to negative 2. When x is negative 1, negative 1 minus negative 2 is positive 1. Negative 1 minus negative 1 is 0. Then negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So if I go to where x is equal to negative 1 on that vertical line, at negative 1 comma negative 2, we have a slope of positive 1. At negative 1, negative 1, we've got a slope of 0, then a slope of negative 1, then a slope of negative 2, and then a slope of negative 3. And so we're kind of building the slope at each point. 0 minus negative 2 is 2, then 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So building those slopes, when x is 0, we're going to start with a positive 2 slope, a positive 1 slope, a 0 slope, a negative 1 slope, and a negative 2 slope. At 1, we've got 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. So when x is 1, 
y is negative 2, we're going to have a slope of positive 3, then positive 2, then positive 1, then 0, and then negative 1. Finally, for the row of 2, 2 minus negative 2 is 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. So at 2 comma negative 2, we've got that really steep 4 slope. Then we've got the less steep 3, the less steep 2, then a slope of 1, and then finally a slope of 0. And then what we end up with is this slope field that kind of shows us how the line is curving depending on where the line is at. I can pick a point on this graph. Let's start at negative 2, negative 2. And you can see that the slope is beginning to go down. And then the slope field starts leveling off and then up if you follow those slope fields as you go across. Those slope fields give the direction of the curve. And so at that point, negative 2, comma 1, this is the curve of the differential equation. What if I start at the point negative 1, negative 1? It starts off with a flat curve, and then it's going to start bending up until it goes up to the right. Going the other direction, it's going to get more steep initially. Let's draw one more. Let's start at 1, comma, negative 2. At 1, comma, negative 2, we can see this graph is starting out very steep and leveling off as it gets closer and closer. And so we end up with all of these different solution curves. And that's what we want to really be working on with our graphs today. What I've got here on the screen is the solution curve, the slope field to y prime is equal to xy. And I got this solution curve from going onto Google. And if you Google GeoGebra slope field, it'll give you a slope field calculator that allows you to draw slope fields. And then you can practice putting points on the slope field. If we do y of 4 equals 2, at 4, comma 2, we end up with this point right here. And you can see we start off with initially a very steep slope field, but it's going to level off pretty quick. And I would assume this is going to be symmetrical, so it's probably going to come up like this and give you this type of a solution. We could also do a point at y equals negative 1 comma 4. At negative 1 comma 4, we're starting up here. And you notice that at this point, it's coming in steep, but it actually levels off. It's not very symmetrical. But you get the idea of kind of how the shape of that curve is going to look. Let's do one more. Let's do y at negative 2 when x is negative 2 and y is negative 2. At negative 2 comma negative 2, you see it starts out really steep, then the slope fields level off, and we end up with this looking solution. In our future videos, we'll look at how we can find the exact uh, solutions to these differential equations, but for now, we're looking at graphing these slope fields and seeing how they behave at different initial values. So take a look at these on the homework assignment, practice a few, and good luck to you as you work on the assignment.